Buddy running on the golf with the dog. With the dog. Get the dog up. He lost his nerve and bailed on foot. Eventually trying out a new hiding spot. Oh god! <laughs> what? To make their getaway. I'm pretty sure. Show me one suburb that look like that. That look like my shit. That look like my hood. The Joker, the infamous DC villain, taunted the police from the vehicle sunroof before making a run towards the beach. Maybe he was hoping to go for a swim. We gotta do better. I swear that there's a list of places that I've been with you. I wanna go without you. There's no ribbon given for anyone that you dealt with. No badge of honor, no ceremony or benefits. I gotta start us up a support group with a membership. Your girls in the bathroom weighing down. You already know who I am. We keeping it sweet today. I love y'all. I really mess with y'all. Y'all my people. What? Gotta catch the video. Gotta keeps the ball running. Rolling, running, one step in front of the other until a nigga walk inside playing. Got a little police chase video. Couple of them, I think. I think it's like a little cop. Cop. Like the video. Like the video. If you want to see the video, it's uh in the description. You already know how I get down. You already know how I get. It better be fire. It better be fire. Y'all should be sitting me, sending me these videos. I shouldn't even be looking for them. Like, they should be coming to my my DM. Police on an infuriatingly slow chase through the streets of Los Angeles. While the suspect looked like he was having a great time, his four-legged passenger not so much. Buddy running with the dog. With the buddy running on the golf with the dog. With the dog. Get the dog up. When police leave their cars unattended, the deal with speeding. Why is always? Why is always when motherfuckers get caught up? Motherfuckers be in the back of that, back of them, back of that Explorer, back of that Ford. They all of a sudden turn into Martin Luther. Motherfuckers all, all of a sudden turn into Malcolm X. Be better. Hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what? Somebody gotta take the fall, like nigga. What you got caught? Shut the fuck, like what the fuck? What the? What? And if you mad, pause the video. We only one minute in. Oh what? Hop in my comments. I swear to God, you negative goofies. I'm ready. What? Y'all already know how I get down. I up fire. Come on now. Y'all better know how to talk. Y'all better know how to defend yourselves. I'm like, what are you personal? Boy, shut up, goofy. Stay out of my comments with that negative. Negativity. Fuck, I drink my soda out the two liter. Nigga. Drivers, opportunistic uh, kids make their move. Looks like uh, somebody just stole my vehicle. This joy rider jumped behind Bro, the wheel of a cop car. They really, they really be stealing whips. Like, I don't know where y'all from. If y'all from a big city or somewhere real, like, populated, populated, it's probably foreign. Because, like, you know. Ain't nobody crashing out in New York still in New York, NYPD cars. I mean, it is, but, like, where I'm from, bro, they stealing, like, sheriff. What? They gonna find out where the sheriff stay. Go steal that personal car. Stop <laughs> Steal the sheriff wife car. Stop playing. Like, here, niggas just crash out, bro. Without the officer even reacting. With the police Goofy. On, it's like the thief out of narrator to his own car chase. Is that him laughing? Anyway, when the adrenaline finally wore off and he realized he was driving a freaking cop car, he lost his nerve and bailed on foot, eventually trying out a new hiding spot. Oh, God! <laughs> what the fuck, boy? That nigga came out the garbage. Hey, that nigga popped out like that Sesame Street goofy. Bro. My nigga, why ain't you what? See, boom, niggas, bro. Like, look, you, y'all, y'all, y'all be letting y'all yeah, heart get the best of you. Little heart get the pounding, little get the shivering, bro. He didn't know you was in there. I would have committed, no, oh, hours, a day if I had to. Boy, he wouldn't have knew I was in that garbage. What that nigga? That nigga. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> like, dog. What the fuck? Hold on, foot. Eventually, fuck? trying out a new hiding spot. He did like. He didn't know. He didn't look. He did not know. 
Eventually trying out a new He looking over here and see you <laughs> new hiding spot. That's wild. That's funny. That's really funny. If you're getting chased through the streets of LA by a dozen cop cars, people would usually assume you're a criminal. But these guys just wanted to give back to their community. Or at least that's the story they're sticking to. Throwing more money out, throwing more money out of the car. Whoa, look at that. After it's all, stolen. Nine times out of ten, bro. You see somebody like that running or something, throwing money. Ooh, that shit's stolen, bro. You can't do nothing with them bills. They can't do nothing with them bills. And they didn't already hit the lick. So it's like, fuck, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes, bro, crash outs, it be a reason to the crash out, bro. Like, what? Like, he hit the lick, robbed the gas station, robbed or whatever. Them bills mark. You can't even spend them bank and speeding off in a black SUV. These brazen philanthropists drove through the city suburbs throwing handfuls of cash out the window. And why you go to the suburbs throwing money? <laughs> they don't need your shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> you riding around in a Volvo. They what? They suburban. Big boy suburban. They don't need your shit. What the fuck? While it's not entirely cool. them, white, them white folks is not them white folks is not running all out off of their lawn, they 401k lawn and picking up them dollars. What? They, they. Janine, get the gun. Like, what? It's so clear. Clear if they were trying to spread the wealth with their neighborhood or trying Goofies. to create a distraction big enough to make their getaway. That look like the hood. Locals very happy. That look like the hood. They not in no suburbs. That's the hood. What? Very happy. Create a distraction what? Big enough to make their getaway. I'm pretty sure. Show me one suburb that look like that. That look like my shit. That look like my hood. Look like my street. Hold on, man. That shit that look like, man. What? <laughs> what? Fuck? Hell no. I'm talking about the suburbs. Ugh. Ain't no suburbs. Got the work homie pickup truck right here. Got the, uh... You know them niggas love that. Uh, look, that's the fucking Equinox. Somebody baby mama Equinox. You know what I'm saying? Man, stop the playing. Very happy. <laughs> Buddy riding around in a Volvo. This high speed chase is about to end in the weirdest way possible. And I'm not talking about the takedown. That was actually a pretty sweet pit maneuver if I say so myself. It's what happens next, which has everyone scratching their heads. After surrendering to the police and exiting the car with his hands up. Boy, I thought he was finna hit that. Give me your head, my, my, I thought he was finna. Boy, I thought he was, I thought he was finna. Boy, you can't tell me that nigga did. Ah, ha, ma, ta, a, ta, a. The next best option is to start break dancing. Oh, okay. Suspect doing some break dancing here in the middle of the roadway. That ain't break dancing. Oh, that's a white boy. That's a white boy. I, I don't know what he's doing, but that ain't. Mm -mm. I thought he was finna. You know what I'm saying? That's my bad. That's my bad. They did tell him to get down after all. What happens when you end up chasing a real life comic book villain? A scenario which is just as crazy as their on-screen counterpart. When police began pursuing a black sedan through the streets of Santa Monica, little did they know that the passenger was dressed as the Joker. The infamous DC villain taunted the police from the vehicle's sunroof before making a run towards the beach. Maybe he was hoping to go for a swim. We gotta do better. We gotta do better. Riding around in a busted Beamer. Dressed as the Joker is hot. You on the beach? It look hot as fuck. It look hot. We got that costume on. With the, we gotta do better. We gotta do better. We gotta do better as people. Out the sunroof. Not before he stopped and helped Furry and high five a stranger. Next thing he knew, he was surrounded by cops and a thousand onlookers. Come on, guys. Why so serious? We gotta do better. He just wanted some attention on God. Buddy just wanted. Buddy just wanted all eyes on him. He he knew he's probably on the run. Nigga had a warrant, and he said, "Fuck it. If I'm finna go turn myself in, I want everybody to get it on video." Uh, like man, busters. Driver passed out drunk. Straight clusters. Hey, wake up. 
I know there's laws against drunk driving, but this is technically an Amish Uber. Obviously, an unconscious driver is an accident waiting to happen, so the police decided to block the road ahead. And after Not the really. Collision, the poor kid had reckless driving added to his charge of DUI. One question, though. But, like, it's, it's different laws with that shit. Because, like, people, some people got their horses trained to go home. Like, people really be, like, in tune with they with they stallion, bro. Like, I think it's real. I don't think he was allowed to do that. I think it's real laws. Like, when a horse is operating, a horse is not a vehicle, bro. It's different laws. It's not, they don't got no fucking engine. I know, what the fuck? Ain't no cylinders on that bit. Like, if he, yeah, he was unconscious, so I get it. Because, like, you oper, you, you, you riding your horse, but you not conscious. But, like, my horse train to go home and i'm drunk and i'm trying to get home i don't know i would have fought that shit i would have fought that shit if your horse breaks down you and and you 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 pulling over in front of my horse you could uh, you could hurt my horse like you could damage my like this like i don't know i, I would have fought that shit already facing time for reckless driving and eluding the police why not make the most of the chaos and live stream it wilfredo garcia decided to capitalize on his 15 minutes of fame by going live on his atv with the police hot in pursuit was it worth you a goofy well, you straight goofy his eagerness for likes caught the attention of detectives who after a quick scroll goofy. through instagram were able to add a few more felonies to his list Everyone gets a guilty conscience from time Buddy probably had weed bottles all on that. He probably was showing videos of him taking a shot of the bottle and then hopping on the ATV, all type of all type of stuff. But this guy is the absolute king of telling on himself. When this red car got pulled over for speeding, the guy in the passenger seat suddenly felt all eyes on him. Thank you for telling me who you are this time. Last time you didn't. Oh, that was you? That was me. Yo! I'll go. Why is he running? He doesn't even have a warrant. Even though he wasn't the one being interrogated, he suddenly got the urge. Buddy, go! I'll go. Damn. Damn. <laughs> I don't know what be going through like niggas' heads or dudes' heads, bro. You ain't never ran that much in like thirty years. He, when you, he, like, he finna kill over. That was finna be it. He was finna either run to death or get locked up. Like, what are you doing? Shirtless friend Roberts obviously had a reason to run. You know what I was gonna do? I was gonna have you drive her car. Cause you got a valid license, bro. No, I don't. Yes, you do. And when cops finally caught up to him, he got a possession charge for his troubles. Bet that's math, ain't it? Uh, How stupid. Dude, I was gonna let you drive the car. I is too fast for a scooter. These police officers had to do a double take at their speedometer when they clocked an e-scooter at more than 62 miles an hour down a busy Australian freeway. When challenged, the scooter rider decided to run for it, diverting into a bike lane to escape. Where are you going on a scooter? Damn, damn. You gotta admire his work ethic. From the dash cam footage, this just looks like your average white suit. Hey. When you late, bro, and you and you can't get no more points, bro, I feel it. And you know you got shit you got to handle, and you know what any other charge is like. You a real nigga out here in the streets. You know any other charge is just more money. Bro, what? And you finna lose your job because you late? Oh, yeah. And you ain't got no car? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And cruising through the suburbs. This card wasn't speeding, it didn't cross over into oncoming lanes. So, what's the problem? Well, after a long joyride through the neighborhood, the vehicle finally stopped, and officers were absolutely dumbfounded by who was behind the wheel. And before driving back home, this is what it looked like when he got into the driveway. <laughs> They'll never find me under the bed. How do you stop a vehicle that can literally hey, he got out the chase his little ass. Sir? You wait till it runs out of gas. When Joshua Yabbit was looking for a ride home, he chose an M577 armored personnel carrier and drove it straight out of the gates of Fort Pickett. What the f is going on? 
Police could really only follow That's all new. As the literal tank ripped through the streets of Virginia on a high-speed joyride. Eventually the rampage came to an end with Joshua arrested for driving a tank under the influence. That's on y'all cuz who left the keys in the tank? Who who I go by the moon never here you never know what you're going to see. I'll see y'all tomorrow, probably later on in the day. I got shit to do. Like my shit, I love y'all.